Jennifer here. So, last night when I was doing my hair, um, I noticed, and it's pretty hard not to, that my curling iron has completely died. I mean, this thing, I don't know if you can see this, but the buttons are just, look, it's totally dead, this thing. Now, this curling iron is so old. It's like 10 years old, I think. I don't even know. I can't remember when I bought it. I don't even know what brand it is because I've used it so much. <laughs> so this is the only curling iron that I have and it's dead, I need a new one. You know I like to keep my things until they die. I really wear things out. I'm not the type to just buy a bunch of curling irons and things like that. So it's time to get a new one because this literally doesn't work. And um, also the my flat iron as well, this works, but however the button, I don't know if you, and you're gonna be able to see it. The button is totally cracked in half and it barely works. I, this one was the H Hair Art, H A I, Hair Art and Information. This is dead too. So it's time for me to get a new hair straightener and a new curling iron. And so I'm going to go shopping. I'm gonna take you along with me. You know me, I hate vlogging in public but I'm gonna do it for you. And we're going to find, hopefully, uh, two new ones that I will love and that will last me for years, like both of these did. These were great, both of these things, even though I don't know what brand that the curling iron was. So I don't know if I'm going to go today. Uh, I'm gonna to try to fit it into my schedule, but if not, probably tomorrow. Okay, I'm excited to go shopping and find a new one with you. Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm with my baby. You could probably see his little toes in the, <laughs> in the background there. Um, excuse the band-aid, please. Doing some gardening. But anyway, uh, we are actually going to go out. I wasn't going to go to Sephora today, but I am going to a place that has a beauty supply store. So let me just see if I can find what I'm looking for there. Deciding between the metal, the metal one, and the ceramic one. And I think I'm gonna try ceramic because I had metal last time. So I think this is the one I'm gonna go for. She said it was $59. Do you think this one's better for your hair? What do you think, Mr. It's the end of the day. The end of the day, I'm so tired. I'm sitting on the bathroom countertop because I set up the camera to show you. Uh, I'm just about to curl my hair and then I realized I didn't do an intro or talk to you about it or anything. So that's why I'm sitting on the counter. I didn't feel like repositioning the camera. So um, yes, I'm right now, I'm about to try both the curling iron and the flat iron. Now, just so you know, I do not flat iron my hair fully um, often at all. I probably rarely do that. What I use the flat iron for are frizzy spots in my hair, basically. So after I blow dry my hair, I usually have a few frizzy spots, especially if I just do it um, fast. And especially with the hair growing in, I don't know if you, yeah, you can totally see it. <laughs> There's a lot of just, just frizziness and it's fine. There's no problem with it, but I do like to just straighten it out. It's just my preference. It's what I like to do. Um, a lot of people say, why don't you just wear your hair uh, naturally? And I do do that actually, but I find that because I wash my hair twice a week, it's just much easier for me and way more presentable for me to uh, blow dry my hair, curl the ends, and take care of any frizzies. Then I can go for like four days pretty much on that. And um, 
my hair just looks really good. I don't have to do anything to it. But when I, when I don't do anything to my hair, I'm finding that it just takes a lot more effort every day to fix it and to do things to it. So I've just come up with my system. I like what I like. It could always change. In the summertime months, uh, I don't do this as often. Okay, so I don't use the flat iron all the time. I don't just use them all of my hair to make it straight, although I could do that. Um, and then for the curling iron, I, I um, definitely do that twice a week, you know, after I wash my hair. Okay, I am excited to try both of these products right now and show you how they are my first impression. <laughs> okay, so I'm just adjusting the camera now. I hope that you can see me. The lighting is not so good because it's um, dark outside. Okay, I'm going to start with the flat iron and so basically I'm just going to take these frizzy parts in my hair and just kind of flat iron them down. Okay, so far it's great. I mean, this flat iron is definitely good. I can tell it's definitely a high quality flat iron. Do a quick, I'm not going to do my whole hair, but I just wanted to try uh, the curling iron just to see what it's like. So it's a ceramic curling iron, and I'm gonna take the bottom of my hair like this and twist it. Yeah, that holds curl really nicely actually, and it's very shiny looking. So I'm gonna show you again. Okay, I ended up moving into my bedroom because the lighting is better. The other one was just very harsh. Okay, so I, really like um, both of them. My first impressions are very, very good. I'm very happy. They were expensive, but if they last me 10 years or more like the other ones did, then I'm good. I'm happy and then I don't like buying cheap appliances that just break down uh, every year or so. I think in the end you spend more money that way and it's probably harder on your hair. So I like that both of them are ceramic um, and that they have all of those other benefits to them. I'll list them all below. People at Lisa's Beauty Supply were really nice. I will link both of these um, curling iron and flat iron below if you are interested. And give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see my detailed curling iron routine because I just went through that really quickly and I don't even know if you could see it properly in that bad lighting. Um, but yeah, do that, give me a thumbs up and I will know that you would like to see a detailed curling iron routine. Also check back in with you on my next favorites video or beauty video to let you know how I feel about the products because this was a very shallow review, obviously. It's just a first impression. So I will definitely check back in with you and let you know how they're holding up. I know that they have warranties as well, so if something happened to them and they broke, I would be able to get a replacement. I don't know if you can see, but the frizzy that was there before is gone now, so I'm very happy with the flat iron, and I just did a very sh you know quick run through with the curling iron, um, and I think that I think it looks good. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me on the Daily Connoisseur, and I will see you soon. Good night.